A new season, a new head coach in Daniel Farker with plenty of new faces to work with in his playing squad and a new direction for Norwich City. The 2017-18 EFL Championship season promised to be quite the ride for Canary supporters. Pre-season wet the appetite with the first glimpses of City's new signings and their new football philosophy, but that only increased the anticipation for the season opener at Fulham, where City would kick off against one of the pre-season promotion favourites in their own backyard. Oh, he's got away from Wiltshire, pulls it into the middle, it's an open goal! Fulham take the lead! Goes off Russell Martin, the captain. Houlihan over the top, Oliveira, lovely take down, it's Oliveira! Norwich equaliser, 11 goals last season, and another one in Nelson's Collins. He's got Norwich back on terms, beautiful control, excellent finish, Fulham 1, Norwich 1. Sticks this one away beautifully. with this free kick he does float it into the penalty area the header is into the net and it's league two Swindon who take the lead and it was Ollie Lancashire up from the back who met that set piece perfectly steered it beyond Angus Gunn and it is Norwich City nil Swindon Town one Reed. Swindon have got nearly everybody back behind the ball Houlihan's found room in the penalty area uh, Jerome sets up Madison it runs through for Cameron Jerome and Norwich equalised immediately well Swindon Town appealing for offside but appealing in vain Right Norwich direction. found a way through the middle, and Cameron Jerome has his first goal of the season. Houlihan towards Reed, who slides and manages to get it to Husband on the left-hand side. Josh Murphy on to James Husband, good football from Norwich City. Husband from the left-hand side can't quite pick out Madison, but it has fallen nicely for Wes Houlihan. 25 yards out, Houlihan into the area, Madison back to Wes Houlihan, a lovely move! Oh, this is a lovely goal! Norwich City take the lead in this game for the first time. Superb interchange between Madison and Wes Houlihan. It was the city captain who took the ball into the penalty area, got the shot in. A vigor who got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. And it is Norwich City two, Swindon Town one. It's Josh Murphy, corner of the Swindon penalty, area, cutting in from the left. A great oh. run, and he's managed to get the pass to husband. Back now to Hulan. On to James Madison. More great football. Oh, goal for Norwich City. They walk that one in. Swindon chasing shadows as Norwich City passed the ball around in the penalty area. Earlier on, Madison set up Hulan, and now the favour has been returned. Two quick goals for Norwich City, and they lead Swindon by three goals to one. Let something happen here, just past the hour. The free kick bent in and headed, and it's hit again. Norwich City have fallen for the same trick twice. A free kick played into the penalty area by Hussey, headed at the near post. And uh, it was Mullin who got his head to that one, put it in the top corner of the Norwich net. And for all their good work tonight against Swindon, it is now only 3-2 to Norwich City, and they've conceded two headers from two set pieces. Neither keeper's made a... I suppose there's the one from Steele from Russell Martin, but neither keeper's made a, a really difficult oh, save. But that may change now because Vaughan has headed on to Graben, and Lewis Graben scores for Sunderland against his former club. For the ranks at Sunderland, he's going to clip this corner into the Norwich penalty area. Should be headed away by Bill Scott. He's fallen on the edge of the area for Catamol. And now McGeady with the shot! Oh, that's a fantastic goal from Aidan McGeady! Sunderland on the left with McGeady, bending the ball oh, into the Norwich penalty area. Graben's there, that's 3-0! Should sum up the points for Sunderland. Wonderful football from the two players who've already scored in this game. Madison bends the free kick into the penalty. Frank at the far post heads it down and it's got it! Norwich City have got a goal back with 13 minutes to go. I think the final touch oh, came off a Sunderland defender. Madison's free kick finally picking out Franco across it came. Oh, I think Graben. Oh, it's Graben. Lewis Graben has scored the own goal. We've seen the replay again and Graben has stabbed in. Uh, Marcel Frank has knocked down. He rolls it to Houlihan, right wing, Vrancic, change the penalty here, a bit of space, tries to play it through to Nelson Oliveira, who tucks it in, and that is a well-worked Norwich City goal. It looked as if Vrancic had the perfect opportunity to shoot from the edge of the penalty area, but instead he had the intelligence and the vision to roll it through to Nelson Oliveira, and for the first time this season, Norwich City go 1-0 up in a game, Oliveira has scored, and it's Norwich 1, QPR 0. And Madison will now roll it to the right, and we'll look for Wes Houlihan. Vrancic now, who created the goal tonight. Here's Harrison Reed with a bit of space to run into. Gingerhead, Norwich midfield is still going. 25 yards out. He's going to hit a shot. Oh! Harrison Reed has just scored his first senior goal in professional football, and it's an absolute belter. 
and he let fly from about 25 yards, top corner, and it's Norwich City 2, QPR 0, and the Canaries have some daylight. Onoma on halfway, Onoma tries to release Keenan Davis, it runs for him, right edge of the Norwich penalty area, Davis gets the ball across the face of goal, this must be for Hurrahan, and Aston Villa take the lead here, it has been coming. All long towards Lansbury, Franker deals with the first football for Norwich City but Davis gets to the second ball and finds Lansbury uh, he slides it across here to Green who joins the attack into the penalty area hits a great shot top corner that's 2-0 to Aston Villa and Norwich City really do have a mountain to climb here Steve Bruce is punching the air in delight and now applauding his team Harrison Reed again uh, Murphy's made a good run here and Reed's picked him out and Murphy's in on goal Josh Murphy for Norwich they're back in it Great ball over the top from Harrison Reed. Josh Murphy, who's been Norwich's best outlet, charged onto it and finished coolly beyond the goalkeeper, Johnston. And almost out of nothing, Norwich City have a goal. Josh Murphy on target. It's Villa 2, Norwich 1. Here's Lansbury to Hurahan for Aston Villa. Shot deflection. Oh, that takes it in. And Aston Villa's two-goal lead is restored. Connor Hurahan will claim it. His shot from the edge of the penalty area. It took a deflection and that looped it over Angus Gunn into the corner of the net, right along the edge of the penalty area. Now he curls the ball in towards Oliveira! And that's a goal for Norwich City! Josh Murphy plays it into the penalty area and Nelson Oliveira is making himself very difficult to leave out for Norwich City because he scored another one. Aston Villa 3, Norwich 2, 11 minutes to go. Harrison Reed breaks to try to close him down but there's a space in behind him now and Villa trying to exploit that. That looked like handball by Al Mohamedy but it hasn't been given. Al Mohamedy carries on. Here's Hurahan on a hat-trick. Tries to get into a shooting position and he's got his hat-trick. Corner Hurahan hits the ball into the net. His third goal of the afternoon from the edge of the penalty area. He goes and claims the match ball. And Aston Villa have gone 4-2 up with five minutes to go. Naismith's been dispossessed and Charlton could be in here with Lee Novak. It's in the top corner. Four and a half minutes gone. League One Charlton take the lead. And Norwich City, the architects of their own downfall once again. Here come. At Pinto on the right, crossing the ball into the penalty area. Watkins challenges for it, heads it down nicely to Josh Murphy! On the run, and he fires the ball in on the half volley from the edge of the penalty area. Norwich City haven't really deserved the goal tonight, but they've got one. And that was a moment of quality. Curling cross from Pinto, headed down well by Watkins. Murphy ran onto it and finished clinically. And it's Norwich 1, Chantal as well. To release Josh Murphy, left outside. This looks promising for Norwich. Murphy into the penalty area, tries a cross. It's come back to him. Murphy goes in alone and scores! Terrific goal from Josh Murphy. His first shot was blocked by the defender concert, but it landed back at the feet of Josh Murphy. And this time from the side of the six-yard box, he curled it into the far corner. And Norwich City have scored two tonight. Murphy's got them both. Here comes Wes Hulan now, darting in. Looks for a great pull through to Josh Murphy. Is this the chance for his hat trick? We're well, placing the cross. This gets it up nicely here for Marley Watkins, who puts it into the net from six yards. And Norwich City go three. Against Charlton. Murphy caused the confusion again, played the ball into the six yard box. Charlton couldn't deal with it, they pretty much put it on a plate for Marley Watkins to fire home his first goal to Norwich City. Pinto on now to Yannick Wilsker, who turns and again very direct, gets towards the edge of the penalty area. Yannick Wilsker into the area, tries a shot, is blocked, mites it up here for Tomorrow. Oh, what a goal that is! That's set up nicely. That's a great finish there. And it was tribal who put his foot through that one, into the corner of the net, puts the icing on the cake, it's 4-1, and Tom Tribal, who was brought in to do a defensive job in the Norwich midfield, found himself in the penalty area, Wilskut did all the hard work, it bounced up nicely, and Tribal caught it beautifully, into the corner of the net, and Norwich lead 4-1. As Morrison heads the ball into the area, finds his strike partner Gregory, and Millwall have scored, and it was predictable. A long ball upfield, Steve Morrison won the flick on, Gregory got in behind the Norwich defence and took the chance. Now Norwich are going to be overrun again here, and Wallace has played it into the penalty area to Gregory, who's put, played it behind his teammate here, but it is now set back, Tom, another goal! And Norwich City are falling apart here, and it was Saville this time. Houlihan wins a challenge, but it falls for Wallace, the Millwall winger, who runs into the penalty area, unchallenged, and shoots and scores! And this is 3-0 to Millwall, and Wallace was able to pick the ball up there, 25 yards from the Norwich goal. Millwall corner from the left, driven right under the crossbar, and headed in! That was so simple again! Sean Hutchinson, the defender, able to rise about four yards out, and plant the header beyond the despairing Angus Gunn. It's Millwall for Norwich 0.
city's difficult afternoon in the capital would make for an uncomfortable first international break of the new season, with the Canaries sat in the relegation zone, albeit just five games into a long championship campaign. With the summer transfer window still open, Norwich took the chance to act, signing Scotland centre-back Grant Hanley from Newcastle United. And once the fortnight was done, it would be all eyes on the visit of Harry Redknapp's Birmingham to Carrow Road and how Daniel Farker would look to shake things up. Four minutes gone, corner, Vrancic takes it from the right for Norwich City, almost onto the head of Closer, but it's been scrambled away by Birmingham. Back in from Madison, Closer gets it across goal! And he's there! Norwich City have taken the lead inside the fifth minute! Tim Closer played it across the six-yard box, Nelson Oliveira was there at the far post, there's no offside, and Norwich City have an early goal to calm the nerves. Norwich 1, Birmingham 0. Towards the halfway line and releasing a right winger, and it's Ketty. What's he doing there? He's bending in early into the path of Oliveira, perhaps, and Oliveira puts it just wide. Oliveira controls beautifully and tries to chip the goalkeeper from distance, and he nearly comes off. But stop there, low back pedals, and manages to take the catch. City were back at Carrow Road three days later to host seasoned championship defiers Burton Albion. Norwich spent most of the game knocking at the door, but even Wes Houlihan couldn't conjure some magic to break the deadlock. Next up, a trip to take on newly promoted Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. It's Fleck in the Sheffield United midfield. Up towards Brooks. Oh, Brooks has beaten Tim Closer. All ends up. Goes into the penalty area. Gunn makes the Great save. save. Great save from Angus Gunn. Good header inside from Vilskut. Jerome holding it up beautifully. 30 yards out. Gives it to Madison. Through to Vilskut in the penalty area. Shoots from the angle yeah. and scores! Oh. Yannick Vilskut takes that one brilliantly. A lovely move from Norwich City. Jerome involved. It arrived perfectly at the feet of Yannick Vilskut in the penalty area. He arrowed the ball across the goalkeeper into the net. And it's Sheffield United nil, Norwich City 1. Plays it for Josh Murphy, who tries to play a ball in for Watkins to get on. And he's tugged down in the box there. And it's a penalty to Norwich City. Here we go. Vrancic is going to take this one, waiting for the referee to give him the OK. He is left-footed. And he rolls into the bottom left-hand corner. And Norwich City are 1-0 up. Mario Vrancic. And we have played less than 10 minutes. Ilias on this left-hand side tries the cross to the penalty spot. Good defending by Norwich City. Sliding challenge there by Wes Houlihan, I think it is. And he's given away a penalty. Well, it's Barbe, the defender, who's going to take this one. The number 29 is going to take it also with his left foot and skies it high over the bar. Branches is going to take this one left footed over the wall and into the corner oh, and it's in! Fell. Great strike by Mario Vrancic with his left foot over the wall into the left-hand corner of the net. And uh, it's Brentford nil, Norwich City 2. Oh, ball through for tribal for just, uh, Josh to run onto. Josh Murphy 1-1 with the keeper and he does this time. Put it past the goalkeeper and he is absolutely <laughs> delighted about it. Celebrates in front of the fans. Got one of the other players on his back. He's a very, very happy man as it goes. Brentford nil, Norwich City 3. Oh, and do you know what? There's been a goal for Brentford. Yeah, it was right behind the post that's in front of us, but it's that mucking about from Norwich City, yeah. not allowing anyone to really put their foot through the ball. And it's Brentford 1, Norwich City 3. Watkins has sent Jerome away on the right-hand side. Norwich attacking now. Corner of the Bristol City penalty area. Jerome heads for the byline. Can he cut the ball back here to Frenchic? Oh, he's in the post! Just the back kicks the ball in play. He's done really well there against Steepman. Cutting into the penalty area from the right. Norwich under pressure. Comes back to the edge of the penalty area. That's a great save from Angus Gunn because it looked as if Patterson had got it off on it. It's getting over the Norwich goalkeeper's head. Uh, but Gunn had managed to fingertip that ball over the bar. So it was another point on the board, albeit with another Carrow Road blank before City headed north for a midweek reunion with Middlesbrough. The last time the two sides met was at Wembley for the 2015 Championship playoff final, while former City favourite Johnny Housen joined the Teesiders following their Premier League relegation in the summer. And the ball back with Norwich now. Husband tries to lay a ball forward for Marley Watkins to run onto. And Watkins has robbed Fry of the ball in the left-back position. Can he find a man? James Madison potentially with a shot from outside the area. What a goal by James Madison! Top corner. Unbelievable strike by the Norwich City youngster. It was Marley Watkins who did the work down the left-hand side. Robbed one of the defenders of the ball. Played it into Madison who was outside the box and put a curler into the top right-hand corner. It's Middlesbrough nil, Norwich City 1. The referee's blown his whistle though. Baker can take this free kick early, he does, it's deflected and just tipped over the top by the keeper.
It is a free kick from Madison, and it's well oh, hit, and it's in the top ball. corner. And James Madison, who scored at Middlesbrough the other night from 25 yards, has done it again here at the Madeski. A wonderful free kick, more Madison magic. The ball's in the top corner, and it is Reading nil, Norwich one. Luco plays the free kick into the penalty. A chance here for Reading, header down, and Norwich have conceded the goal. Reading equalised, it was Liam Moore who got round. He's getting ready for the corner from the Norwich left, put into the penalty, a decent delivery, into the six-yard box, Jerome heads it into the top corner! And Cameron Jerome has his first league goal since Good Friday. Poor marking from Reading, Madison's corner bounced towards the far side of the six-yard box and Jerome crashed the header into the top corner. Madison scores one and makes one and it's Reading one, Norwich two. Watkins, who takes the ball into the Reading penalty area, trying to open them up here, Marley Watkins, but he's been tackled, and the ball races away, and Watkins has left the foot oh, in there. The, tackle. Um, the referee is reaching for his oh, pocket, and he sent okay. Marley Watkins off. Yeah. It's a red card for the Norwich City substitute for going in over the top there, presumably. Watkins has been sent off. Norwich City are going to end this game with 10 men, and he didn't need much encouragement to show Marley Watkins the red card there. One more stunning James Madison intervention would help ensure Norwich City finished September unbeaten, a point behind their East Anglian rivals Ipswich Town and looking towards the very top of the table where Cardiff and Wolves were already setting a serious pace. Next up for the Canaries was a visit from a Hull City side in the bottom half of the table and struggling to make progress following their top flight relegation last season, as well as a knack for conceding late goals. Carrow Road certainly fancied one of those come the arrival of October. Towards Madison, who's uh, clearly tackled there by determined Michael Hector. And the centre-half brings it forward, and Norwich could be caught out a bit here because Dicko has beaten the offside trap. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, and that's 1-0 to Hull City. Norwich City, who've been so strong defensively in recent weeks, were completely outdone there. Scott should complete the clearance. In fact, he's got the presence of mind to take control of the ball and surge up towards the halfway line, and he goes down, and Norwich will get the free kick. It was Mailer who made the challenge. He's already been booked, and I think he's going to get a second yellow card. He is off! David Mailer! Steepman's going to take this throw in for Norwich City, launches it into the penalty area. Jerome Hilton on chance! Yes! Nelson Oliveira's late equaliser meant City headed to Portman Road eight games unbeaten, with more than eight years since they last tasted East Anglian derby defeat. And once again, one man in particular delivered. Garner up towards the edge of the Norwich area now, drives the ball across the penalty area, nobody really up close enough with him. And Pinto has made a mess of clearing this ball away, he's been caught in possession, the ball comes across and hits the post! Yannick Wilskut who gallops away over the halfway line now. Steekman's available outside him. Wilskut is going to go this one alone. Eventually allows Steekman to take over. Brings it into the area. Sets up James Madison for the shot. There He's you go. there! Norwich City lead at Portman Road. And James Madison has taken the chance. Picking the spot in the bottom corner of the net. We've played 13 minutes of the second half. And it is Ipswich Town nil. Norwich City 1. And it keeps a couple of remarkable runs going. Three straight away games that James Madison has scored for Norwich City. And that's the 13th Portman Road derby in a row that Norwich City have gone 1-0 up. Yes, it was that man again. James Madison's delicious winner meant that once again, East Anglia was painted yellow and green. And in the process, City's midfield maestro ensured his place in City hearts and folklore for years to come. Daniel Farker could also savour his first derby victory as Norwich City head coach. Already more than Mick McCarthy had managed in five years at the helm of Ipswich. The town boss would get one more chance later in the season. Well, that was the last thing on the minds of City supporters as they celebrated another Portman Road victory.
after the high of victory in Suffolk City could enjoy a trip to one of the Premier League big boys. In what would prove to be the final season of Arsene Wenger's legendary Arsenal reign, the Canaries travelled to the Emirates Stadium for their Carabao Cup fourth round tie alongside almost 9,000 supporters and their side gave them their all. Madison will take over. Can he release Murphy? He can. And Murphy is through here on Macy. And Murphy scores. Beautifully taken by Josh Murphy. Fabulously fashioned by James Madison. And Norwich City of the Championship take the lead at the Emirates. Started deep inside their own half. Tribal kept it alive. Madison's ball through was perfect. Murphy's touch took him towards Macy. But the finish was quite exquisite. Corner driven in near post, and it's in! Oh, what an introduction! What an introduction! And Katia. Here's the corner. Gun stays at home, and it's in! And it's that man again! And Katia and the double! Walcott's lost it. Houlihan for Husband, real chance now for Norwich, Husband goes down, and the referee gives a goal kick. And Daniel Farker goes bonkers on the touchline, that looked a reasonable shout. It's clumsy from the Frenchman, his arms are high on the neck. He's on the front foot now, plays it towards the edge of the area, and Josh Murphy, who holds it up nicely here, tries a return pass to Stephenman, and it comes off, and Stephenman is the other side of the ball! And the ball bounces down and is cleared away. He's pleading that that one was over the line. Stiefman thumps it against the underside of the bar, but does not score. It's been a familiar Carrow Road tale for the Canaries so far. Nil nil out. Oh, oh no, Zimmerman's missed the ball from Keogh. And Nugent from the edge of the box scores for Derby! Norwich attacking the river end of Carrow Road. Stiefman into the penalty area. Jerome holds it up. Finds Stiefman, who heads for the byline. Tries to get it across. Close as there! And he's headed in! Norwich City have got the equaliser! Norwich under real pressure here with Tom Lawrence, the Welsh international. Lays it off to Wisdom now. Wisdom has arrived in the penalty area. Plays the ball across. Chris Martin with the opportunity. Gives it to Bradley Johnson. Great save done, but the rebound's going to be in from Winnell. And Derby are back in front. Wolves corner. This one played into the danger area by Douglas and headed in. And Wolves have taken the lead here. Norwich undone from a set piece. It was a very simple goal in the end. Former Dundee United man delivers into the penalty area. Uh, it's come off Cameron Jerome and up in the air and not away yet. Uh, and eventually Wolves have got it into the penalty area here for Bonatini. And that's 2 0. And that's poor defending again from Norwich City. As Wolves proved their promotion credentials at Carroll Road and Norwich struggled to rediscover their good form following extra time at Arsenal, City finished October still well placed for a promotion push alongside the Championship's other big hitters. But after successive league defeats, the Canaries were hoping for much better as they started November, with a trip to the side languishing bottom with just one win from their opening 15 matches. There was no denying it had been a difficult Championship return for Bolton so far. The Gangali Amiobi who comes forward on the right-hand side here. Uh, rolls it into the Norwich penalty area. Prattley uh, has come forward for Bolton. Crosses, that's a decent ball in and a chance for Bolton! And they've scored! And it's Medine, uh, the striker who converts from Darren Prattley's cutback. And for all Norwich's good work in this game, they pay for not taking their chances. Playing it forward to Mark Little on the right-hand side. The fullback joining the attack here Stephenman is covering but Little's got round him and has got the cross in looking for Medine who controls edge of the area another shot comes in oh that's 2-0 Norwich City undone there by Armstrong who hits a curling shot from the edge of the penalty area in off the post Ooh. Jerome controls on the edge of the penalty area plays into the box here to Murphy Murphy from the left of goal shoots and scores and Norwich City have got one back in the fourth minute of stoppage time through Josh Murphy it's probably too little too late but you never know Bolton 2 <laughs> Norwich 1 Norwich City which Pinto has taken quickly and has released Oliveira on the right hand side two Barnsley defenders eventually go to him Oliveira crosses the ball into the area picks out Murphy and it's been deflected in well Norwich City have taken the lead out of absolutely nothing it's their first meaningful attack of the game it was a hit and hope cross really from Oliveira he picked out Josh Murphy Murphy takes a touch hits a shot it's deflected in very much against the run of the play but the Norwich fans don't mind because it's Norwich 1 Barnsley 0 
back forward to Moncur. Moncur is 25 yards from goal, up to the edge of the area. There's a player in space in the penalty area for Barnsley, and they've scored. That's Barnes. Harvey Barnes on the break. This new look Norwich City defence has been caught out within 90 seconds of the start of the second half. It's no more than Barnsley deserve, but Harvey Barnes had all sorts of space to take the ball into the penalty area and roll it into the net. It's Norwich 1, Barnsley 1. Harrison Reed has won it back for Norwich City, giving it to Wes Houlihan. Now perhaps a bit of spark about Norwich City from Houlihan, who clips one over the top here. Marley Watkins is onside, can't control first time. Now he has got control, and he's hit the shot just wide. Great opportunity for Marley Watkins. He should have done better with that one. He's running at the Norwich defence once more, and he's crossing towards Daryl Murphy. And Murphy has scored, and that was at the moment of uh, magic that we've been waiting for in this game, and it's come for Nottingham Forest. Mustafa Carriol, the substitute, getting away on the right-hand side, whipping a quality cross into the penalty area. Really whipped in. Oh, all the way in from James Madison. Arguably one of the most talented players in the Norwich City team has come up with the goods by Norwich City. Whether he meant it or not remains to be seen, but it had enough whip on it. Gallagher swings in the corner. Great header and touched in on the line by Barkhazen. Preston level. Oh, the assistant has a problem. And Andy Davis called into action here. A few last-minute stretches. Are there any uh, budding fourth officials in the crowd that we could turn to to help us out here? <laughs> have they found somebody? I think they have. David Thornhill, a Norwich City supporter, and he will be the fourth official. Yes, there he is in his jeans, dressed for the occasion. There'll be ten minutes on the board if he can work it. Here he comes, big moment. Yay! Well done, David. Fulfilling a lifelong dream and milking every single moment. Why not? Why not? Great stuff from Spud there. And while the FA's newest fourth official could enjoy his moment in the national spotlight, things were a little more dull for the Canaries. Now seven games without a win, Daniel Farker was hoping it was just a minor blip that had dropped Norwich to 15th in the division and eight points off the top six pace. The chance to prove they were capable of more would swiftly arrive too with a daunting trip to Neil Warnock's Cardiff. So far, the season's eye-catching overachievers, who are desperate to show their automatic promotion bid, would not falter as the season progressed. Ranchick spends the corner in. It's Hanley who's up. It's blocked and Cardiff smuggled it away. Shot from the edge of the box. A powerful one. And he's there. Oh, what a strike that was. And it was Steeperman who hit it from about 20 yards out, all along the ground. Goalkeeper had no chance at all. A cracking strike from the German defender. And the Canaries have taken the lead at Cardiff City. What a way to get your first goal in English football. It's Marco Steeperman. Bennett with his latest Cardiff corner from the right wing with the left foot. Again, bent into the Norwich penalty area towards the far post this time. The referee has spotted something. Free penalty. And, uh, he's given... Has the referee given a penalty here for Cardiff? I think he has. As the corner came into the penalty, I think he has pointed for a Cardiff penalty. Rawls takes it. Oh, he tucks it underneath Angus Gunn, who went the right way and into the net. And Cardiff have equalised. Hoylitz made a run on the Cardiff left. Breaks towards the edge of the Norwich box here. Plays the ball across. Opportunity for, for Damore to shoot. Is blocked. Falls for Hoylitz. Oh, and he's put it in. Over the head of a despairing Angus Gunn and into the net. Pinto eventually deals with it. Not particularly convincingly, though. And he's been headed forward here to Tomlin. Guns off his line. Goalkeeper has uh, taken uh, Tomlin out and a penalty's been given. Oh. Here comes Rawls with penalty number two. Oh, he's putting it straight at Gunn. Gunn has saved it. And prevents Tomlin from getting further forward. Franchett seemed to be fouled there. Seemed to be having his shirt pulled. Referee waves play on. Cardiff have got the ball in behind Norwich here. Comes in from the right-hand side. Bogle, that is 3-1. Omar Bogle scores from close range. Uh, appeals by Norwich City that there was a foul in the build-up to the goal. James Madison has been booked for protesting about it. It's Cardiff 3, Norwich 1. Sheffield Wednesday set up a crossing situation for Fox. Uh, played across goal by Reach, diving header into the net. 1 0 for Sheffield Wednesday. It's Jordan Rhodes. Pritchard runs at Sheffield Wednesday, up to the edge of the area. Goes for goal. Keeper saves it. What about the rebound? Madison! Yes! Has he scored? Yes! Madison's got it in from the rebound! Corner from the right wing for Norwich City. Delivered into the penalty area now. Closest header! Yes! Oh, it's 
the bullet and Norwich City are in front and it's only the second time they've scored two goals in the same game in the league at Carroll Road this season and that was a proper central defender's goal. Yeah. Tim Closer up for the set piece, powering the header beyond Kieran Westwood and Norwich City have turned this one round. It's Norwich 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Way here, he's got to be determined, he's got to the ball. Now, can Norwich City finish this one off? Nelson Oliveira has got Harrison Reed for support. Reed in the penalty area has been taken down yes. by Barry Bannon. That is a Norwich City penalty. What brilliant play from Harrison Reed. He did not rush, the ball came to him in the penalty area. He knew the challenge was coming. He's got a penalty here now to surely seal a long anticipated Norwich win. He goes! The goalkeeper goes the right way, but Oliveira finds the corner. Punch of the air for Nelson Oliveira. This has been a long, long time coming, but with 95 minutes on the clock, it's Norwich City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1, three goals in a half. Vicky delivers from the right, at this time towards the edge of the six-yard box, and it's been headed in! And Leeds United have taken the lead, it was Pontus Janssen who got his head to it. Let's go through the gears here, as Madison finds Pritchard on the edge of the penalty area. Pritchard gets a shot in! Oh, he's oh. hit the bar! Saiz gets his head down, chases after this one, Hanley should get it covered for Norwich City, it's a bad back pass, he's given it straight to Saiz, he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and hits the post! Oh, Samuel Saiz beat Angus Gunn! comes to Romain Sawyers into the penalty area for Ollie Watkins who can't control first time Norwich stab it away but Brentford have got Vibe in and he scores and Brentford are in front here ten minutes before half time Carbe has it on the left hand side plays it infield now to Romain Sawyers Sawyers rolls into the penalty area on onside and he scored again and that's a carbon copy of the first goal Vibe scored the second you can hear what Carroll Road thinks of it Lassa Vibe and Brentford have scored two goals Pinto on the right hand side Zimmerman is now the right winger for Norwich City and he's got it level with the Brentford penalty area plays the ball into the box Nelson Oliveira takes a touch shoots and scores for Norwich City as Zimmerman cross into the penalty area Oliveira drives it in finally Norwich have got a goal but it's in stoppage time, and Brentford still lead by two goals to one. So some height in there for Norwich on this set piece. It's rolled into Pritchard, it's tight, it's tight the angle, but somehow he's managed to find the back of the net. Alex Pritchard gives Norwich the lead, straight from the training ground, and it pays off big time. Birmingham City were expecting the ball to be played into the box, instead it was rolled down the line, and Alex Pritchard finds the back of the net for Norwich. Pritchard, oh lovely ball through, Murphy's in here for two, he's round the goalkeeper, this to finish it, surely has finished it, Josh Murphy gives Norwich a 2-0 lead. Well, that will give Daniel Farker and Norwich City supporters a great deal of relief. And a pinch of a ball through sets Josh Murphy up for the second and Birmingham in a big, big hole now. Birmingham City nil, Norwich City two. Scannell with uh, Reed being injured. He runs into the penalty area, looks for a teammate, it's blocked. There's a scramble on the edge of the box, they've got a man over here. Low shot comes in and it hits the side netting. Here's Pritchard in a bit of space. Norwich attacking, it's Pritchard. Left edge of the penalty area, comes inside, goes for goal, and the keeper makes the save. As Burton looked to win it, uh, the ball scooped towards the goal, and Angus Gunn's made a save. Goes for Flanagan, who hits it straight into the ground, and it's cleared away by Pinto. That was an interesting one, a clipped ball across. Yeah. That goalless draw at the Pirelli Stadium meant Norwich City would finish 2017 at the top of the bottom half, desperately hoping the playoffs could still be in reach, and with enough of a cushion below to avoid getting sucked into anything ugly at the bottom end of the table. The January transfer window could also ensure a bit of mid-season business for the Canaries, as it could for their New Year's Day visitors Millwall and former City striker Steve Morrison, the Lions arriving at Carrow Road without an away win all season. Yeah, Morrison seems to come from an offside position Way to win that header. Side. Nothing's been given and he's going to hit a dipping volley there, Morrison! Oh, what a great goal for the former Norwich man! Madison who looks for the ball into the penalty area. Tribal's header! Yes. Oh, there's the equaliser! Tom Tribal met that one perfectly! And the ball curled into the corner of the net! Along the ground now to Pritchard. Swivels. 25 yards out, reverse yes. pass. Madison in the area shoots! Yes. James Madison with the execution after a brilliant reverse pass from Alex Pritchard. They're Norwich's two most creative players. And most fans think they're Norwich's two best players. And they've
just combined to good effect. Pritchard through to Madison. Low arrowed finish, and they've turned this one round. It's Norwich 2, Millwall 1. So with the perfect start to the year in the Championship, City could switch attentions to this season's FA Cup with a spring in their step. And the third round draw delivered a plum tie as Norwich welcomed last season's Premier League champions Chelsea to Carroll Road. And here's Josh Murphy for Norwich City. We're beginning to believe they've had a decent start to this game. Cut by Caballero. Out it comes to Madison. He gets the shot away. Willian. Good save by Gunn. Had to get down quick. Willian to play it in there. And then, oh, that's a dipping effort there from Zappa Costa. Are showing the effects of a difficult week. Bristol City with a mistake there, though. Madison stolen possession. He finds Murphy in the penalty area. Chance for Murphy from the angle. He shoots off the line. Oh. What a clearance that was. 25 yards out to Brownhill, who hits a shot. Oh, it's hit the post. And Pinto's onto it now. Level with the penalty area. Target. Cuts it back for Madison. Madison looking to work some room for the shot. And yes. there for James yes. Madison. 12 minutes to go. And having soaked up all sorts of pressure in the second half, Norwich City have found a way through. The supporters behind that goal had the perfect view of it. Many of them are now rushing down to the front of the stand to share the moment with James Madison. It on into the penalty area for Brownhill. This is the chance for Bristol City. No, what a tackle. tackle. I think it was Zimmerman who got the challenge in. Cross comes back in from Flint. Oh, it's a real chance here for Bristol City. It must be an equaliser. Save. What a save! What a save! What a save from Gunn! Still, though, there's a chance. On the edge of the area, the shot oh. comes in and it goes wide for the goal kick. That is an incredible save from Angus Gunn. And it's no wonder that James Madison has gone to pat him on the back. So a wonderful team goal and Angus Gunn's superb reflexes sealed an excellent away win in Bristol. And that meant Norwich could cut loose a little come their FA Cup replay at Stamford Bridge. And a delayed kickoff in front of a live BBC television audience would not be left disappointed. Here's William crowd doing their best for a few moments to uh, raise the team as Kennedy sent it in, Batshuayi finds the back of the net and Chelsea make the breakthrough here's James Madison with the delivery again into the penalty area and Caballero colliding with us, Pelicueta and it bounces away Madison Tim Closer the feeling it needs to be good and it needs to happen now from Norwich City's point of view it was good oh and it's in they've equalized right at the end of the game and Jamal Lewis has got it the youngster what a moment for him and Lewis what a time to score your very first senior goal in the last minute of added time Norwich City a level we're heading for extra time wow Houlihan stretching for it, challenged by Pedro, oh, Pedro might be booked here, he's already been booked, he will now be sent off, Morata takes Zimmerman out wide, Morata still going under pressure, goes down, ref says no penalty, Norwich get the free kick, Morata gets a yellow card waved in his face. Oh, it's, oh, it's a red card, Norwich City have taken the champions Chelsea. Last year's beaten finalists in the FA Cup to penalties in this third round replay. And here comes the first penalty. Goalkeeper sent the wrong way. Cool, calm finish from the Brazilian. Chelsea one up. Oliveira for Norwich City. It's saved. Luiz, purposeful run up and a very business like finish. Here comes Madison, good finish, nice. rolling it home, says uh, Azpilicueta, Chelsea's captain, rams that penalty home. Here we go, short run up, and a fine finish. Here comes the Frenchman, right into the corner of the net. Good finish there from Josh Murphy for Norwich City, keeps them in it. It's Hazard against Garn and he straps it home. They were pushed all the way by Norwich City. 
It went all the way to penalty kicks, but finally Chelsea prevailed. And having brought Eden Hazard off the bench late in the game, it paid dividends as he rolls home the decisive penalty kick. From the right-hand side, played into the penalty area, right into the six-yard box. Oliveira heads it up, it's not away. Sheffield United have got it here right on the edge of the six-yard box. Eventually the shot comes in and they've scored! Teddy is under hit the back pass, it's a mistake, and Donaldson's latched onto it, carries it into the area and scores! And just as Norris and he had their best chance of the second half, they've been undone, bad mistake from Alex Teddy. Rancic's corner from the right, well delivered, header from Pinto! Oh, they've got that back! Superb corner from Rancic, and it's Ivo Pinto who rises to score only the second goal of his Norwich City career, two years after joining the club. You can't write them off yet, it's Norwich 1, the Sheffield United 2. What can they do with it over here? He's got options of Vrancic trying to buy himself a yard if he goes further back to close as waiting. He's crept forward as well, takes a touch, tries to lay it into Madison, but it's dealt with by Brentford. But then, really good defending by Zimmerman. Trick from Madison, goes for a shot! What, what a, a goal, goal from James Madison! He's done it again! What a special strike from James Madison! It didn't look like there was any other option on. He must be 30-odd yards out and does almost exactly the same as he did at Middlesbrough. It's Brentford nil, Norwich City 1, James Madison with a stunner. And he's going to try and go round the defender and cross. Can he cross? He's running into the box. Plays it across. Oh. Cross the face of the goal. There's a chance here for Watkins and great save by Angus Gunn. It was becoming a bit of a theme. Another excellent 1-0 win on the road earned by a stunning James Madison goal. It was an ideal way to send off January, albeit leaving City still well out of contention for a top six finish and behind their Suffolk rivals. Wolves were already looking home and dry at the summit, while at the bottom both Sunderland and Hull were fearing a second successive relegation. But Middlesbrough were still hoping for an immediate Premier League return and, now managed by Tony Pulis, were next to visit Carrow Road, where January arrival Morris Leitner would make his City debut, but a summer signing made the difference. Norwich have possession inside the middle of the half. Short pass from Teddy, and the stay is going to be sent off here. He's already been booked, and he's just got him two-footed on Grant Hanley. It doesn't matter that he's already been booked, because it is a straight red card. Tribal now, comes to Teddy 30 yards out. Teddy gives it back to Tom Tribal. Tribal shoots! Oh, and Tom Tribal scores! the sort of goal that James Madison would have been proud of it brings the Barkley end to its feet and Norwich have the breakthrough against 10 men it's Norwich City 1 middle from nil uh, Lewis though can't hold on to it and Derby after an un untidy spell of play have won it back it comes into the penalty area here for Vidra back to goal shoots and scores Derby County strike and that's Mete Vidra's 18th goal of the season the first real chance that they've had but the form Derby are in at the moment you don't need to give them two bites of the cherry they've taken the lead it's Derby 1 Norwich 0 mm. Lightness played the ball great over the top ball. it's a great ball Madison could be in here plays it past Carson and it's cleared off yeah. the line and behind for a corner that's Madison it. is appealing there for a penalty thinking mm. that Carson could him they now come away from that chat and it he's pointed for a penalty wow referee Jeremy Simpson taking his time over that one Nelson Oliveira up to the ball with the right foot keeper saved it goalkeeper has saved it Carson drops on the ball makes a fairly comfortable save uh, Norwich still on the front foot with Madison here on the left lovely ball into the penalty back heel from Leitner Oliveira turns one penalty. way he's gone down That's is that a penalty, penalty for Norwich City they've put the ball in the net but the referee is, has given a penalty here comes James Madison for Norwich City with the penalty and the goalkeeper goes the wrong way and Norwich City have finally got a goal in this game and James Madison keeps his call from the penalty spot sends Carson the wrong way and Norwich have an equaliser Derby County 1 Norwich City 1 a superb second half brought the very least City deserved from their Pride Park efforts ahead of Derby Day's return to Carra Road as Mick McCarthy aimed to snap City's recent dominance over their Suffolk rivals. <laughs> Here is the free kick, James Madison over the wall, oh the keeper saves it! That's the second time Bilkowski has denied Madison at full stretch from a free kick. 
waiting to see whether Wagon can get the delivery right. Corner from the left, delivered by Ipswich. Uh, headed down, he's there! Ipswich have scored! And it is the captain, Luke Chambers, who may just have ended Norwich City's derby dominance. Town have scored in the 88th minute at Carrow Road. It's a penalty area. Closer gets his head to it. It runs into the box. Hanley's going to chase it. And Hanley's going to keep it in here. Right-hand side. Plays the ball across. Grant Hanley. Just for Closer! Jim Closer! So near and yet so far, simply preventing Ipswich Town from claiming a first derby win in nine years and doing it in the 95th minute was enough to leave Carroll Road bouncing. Next up, a trip to the runaway leaders. Good opportunity to find the back of the net and Norwich may pay because Jota here has turned. Zimmerman runs into the penalty, shoots and it's hit the post and gone along the goal line and is it a goal? But the goal line technology has come into play there. The referee is pointing at the wristwatch. The, the Hawkeye uh, is in action in the championship this season. And that says that an effort from Jota, I think, did cross the line. So Tornet from the right, put into the Norwich penalty. Here. Headed goalwards and headed in. And that's one thing you cannot afford to do in a game like this, is concede a simple goal from a set piece. They're 2-0 down. Madison's free kick, left-hand side whipped in. Zimmerman's header, and they have got one back. Christoph Zimmerman scores his first goal for Norwich City. Halfway inside the Wolves half, Oliveira shoots for a long way out. Oh, it's there! It's there from Melton Oliveira! He must have been 40 yards out! And it's another Norwich City stoppage time special! Absolutely amazing! This time it's Oliveira, it's absolutely stunning, and it is Wolves 2, Norwich 2. That is incredible! Norwich City have hit back, and the game is finished, and Norwich have come from 2-0 down to take a point against the league leaders. Understand Madison, as he so often does. Infield now to Oliveira, he's 25 yards out, goes past the defender. It's a shot! Oh, what a save! Replays it forward, Oliveira plays it round the corner, great ball! Lightness one on one with the goalkeeper, Charles for Maurice Lightness, put it wide! Golden opportunity for him to get his first goal for Norwich City. Uh, he saw the whites of the goalkeeper's eyes and he knows that was a poor finish. More dropped points at Carrow Road and some were starting to concede that the Canaries season was not going to end in a fairy tale promotion. City finished February 14th in the championship table, eight points off the top six, 17 clear of the relegation zone and still hopeful of overtaking Ipswich before the season was done. Next up at Carrow Road, I talk of Rankers Nottingham Forest. Surely this time City could grab a goal to send their home fans away happy. Bring Madison into it. One touch from Madison to Hernandez. Edge of the penalty area. Gives it to Murphy from the angle in the penalty area. Josh Murphy works the room for the shot. And the goalkeeper gets a foot to it and turns it into the side netting for Norwich corner. Norwich Lutner trying to play the ball over the top on the right. It looks a good pass. Can Hernandez get there? He can. Accelerates into the penalty area. A back heel here to set up Madison! Oh, oh, over the bar. Great ball from Lutner. Decent work from Hernandez. A lovely back heel into the path of Madison. Just the sort of position that Madison is usually so lethal. The left winger for Hull coming forward. Knocks it past Hanley into the penalty area. Jackson Irvin for Hull. Puts it past Gunn and into the corner of the net. And that goal has been coming. Now Harrison Reed plays on forward and Oliveira's got there before David no, Marshall who brings him down. Now was that in the That's area or on the edge of the area? The linesman is flagging. Penalty. Penalty's been given and rightly so. But they've been handed a lifeline. James Madison, can he take it? With the right foot, goalkeeper goes the wrong way. And Norwich City rather undeservedly are back on terms but you have to take the opportunities when they come now here comes uh, Madison to Onel Hernandez on the left corner of the penalty area Hernandez has got Madison on the overlap left hand side up from the byline now Madison sprints into the area himself turns brilliantly James Madison with a shot in. oh he's there James Madison has scored twice in the space of two minutes and Norwich City have somehow turned this game around. Marley Watkins tries to help it on, it might run here for Onel Hernandez who's causing some panic in the Hull defence. Here is Hernandez, brought down there by Mazouch and Norwich have got another penalty. Up to the ball again, the, the stuttering run up and he tucks it in again! 
again and James Madison has scored a hat-trick inside the first 38 minutes at the KCOM Stadium. David Marshall guessed right, got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. At the other end, Jamal Lewis switches off, the whole penalty. player goes down and Hull have got a penalty. Here comes Abel Hernandez with the penalty and Gunn is beaten and it's game back on. Space in front of us, Larson delivers the free kick, it's a Norwich header. Is he given another penalty, another penalty. He spotted some pushing in the penalty area from the free kick and we've got another penalty! Here comes Abel Hernandez with the left foot, oh blast it in! Level with the penalty area, Jared Bowen drags it to Wilson in the penalty area, goes past one challenge, Harry Wilson shoots, it's 4-3 to Hull! And that came from a Norwich City corner! Hull broke away, Harry Wilson has scored and Norwich City were 3-1 up in this game and now with 19 minutes to go they are 4-3 behind! See them now. Halfway inside the Norwich half, right wing, crosses early into the area, McBurney's there! Oh, oh he's hit the inside of the post, and he's in! What a finish from Ollie McBurney, who's in form at the moment, that's his sixth goal in seven matches! He's got one of those late in games this season, and Close has played a good ball over the top, and Husband's away again here on the left, crosses into the penalty area, Murphy with a chance, and yeah. there's the equaliser! Norwich City have scored, and Murphy stands with his arms aloft in front of those away fans. The Canaries have scored during their best spell of play. Great ball over the top for Husband to run onto. He played the ball into the area. Murphy finished clinically, and it is Barnsley 1, Norwich City 1. Addison's corner from the right header. Just yes. in the far post is in, and it's Mario Brancic. He's got his first league goal for Norwich City. It comes from a set piece. Madison from the left-hand side. Will aim the ball into the penalty area, delivered well towards Grant Hanley! Yes. And it's another one for Norwich City! And it's another one from a corner, more appalling defending from Reading. Grant Hanley now has his first goal. The ball under the crossbar, Gunn fists it away, but it falls on the edge of the penalty area for Clement to drive the shot in, hits his own teammate, falls for Tyler Blackett, who's got a great chance. Now Aluko, great save from Gunn. Got a foot to it, chance hasn't gone yet, and Liam Kelly rifles it in! Reading have scored! Cross from the left-hand side, clear chance for Madison if he can beat the keeper oh, to it. Keeper penalty. Has, there, has he? Yes, he has. Norwich have a penalty. Uh, the goalkeeper, Yokola, is arguing with the decision. He's up to the ball now, a stuttering run-up, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Norwich City have a 3-1 lead now against Reading. We're on the attack, Kelly plays the ball into the penalty, a decent delivery, and it's in! And it's Smith, that was a great ball into the penalty area, far away from the corner of the box. Ken Murphy see it for Norwich City, into the area he goes, on the outside, tries a shot, goalkeeper parries it, Shrebeni just about sets up Madison, no, Shrebeni's going to take the shot on and put it wide, he probably should have let Madison have it. Plays the ball out to the left, Matt Target crosses for Fulham into the penalty area, looking for Mitrovic, great save gun, but the rebound is going to be smashed into the net, and it is Fulham who take the lead. And he will carry this one forward, he's got Piers on, running to his right, here he comes, crosses from the right, cut out by Closer, but it's going to fall for Kearney, and that is 2-0. Two goals in the space of five minutes for Fulham, and that is clinical play from Tom Kearney. A professional victory by a side destined for playoff final promotion at Wembley. The Canaries said goodbye to March with a not-so-good Friday. Five points from a possible 15 in the month meant finishing above Ipswich and in the top half of the table was all City really had to aim for over their final seven games of the campaign. A stretch that began in the capital against another London side with another uncomfortable outcome. Is there a chance for Norwich City to break here? Is they're going to find Murphy who lays the ball on for Harrison oh, Reed, who's the furthest man forward, lays it back into Murphy who's got a chance. And there's an own goal! Oh, oh. There's an own goal from Queen's Park Rangers! And it's Norwich City, a goal up away from home! They're not wasting any time, Freeman with a twist in the turn, round Houlihan this time, Luongo goes in, lays into Smith, back to Luongo, chance here for them, and the ball is in! Seconds after Norwich City went ahead, and Queen's Park Rangers have hit back straight away, good interplay on the edge of the box, nice back heel, there's time for a cross to come in from the left towards the centre, good defending by Norwich City, but it's out to the edge of the box! And a shot from the edge of the box, loops up into the air and somehow Matt Smith has got on the end of a header and put Queen's Park Rangers in front. Finds Scout who plays it into the box for a QPR player and they scored another goal. That's route one from QPR. Who takes it towards the edge of the box, then wide left for Bidwell who plays it into the middle. Free header and a goal for QPR. And that's Ryan Manning who had time to just pick his spot and the goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. Between Madison and Murphy on the right, but the attack hasn't gone away yet. Madison gives it to Murphy. 
who will come in from that uh, touchline, oh, hit a curling yes. shot! Oh, 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 wow. What an amazing goal that is from Josh Murphy! He stepped in from the right wing, hit a curling shot with his left foot, and you could see it all the way, it was destined for the top corner. It may even have caught the inside of the post on the way in, and that has lit up what hadn't been a very eventful first half. What a goal at the far end from Josh Murphy, and it is Norwich City 1, Aston Villa 0. Murphy at the moment, he's racing away on the left-hand side from the halfway line up to the edge of the penalty area. Plays it inside here to Harrison Reid, oh, who tries to stand up. shubeni has got the job! Yeah! And has got the goal! It's his first in English football, and it was put on a plate by Harrison Reid. The German doubles it up. It's a great moment for him, and it's a great moment for Carroll Road, because it is Norwich City 2, Aston Villa 0. Roger, left wing. Level with the Norwich penalty area. Pinto back pedalling, doesn't get the challenge in. It comes to Grealish on the edge of the box. His low shot goal. through a crowd and into the net. And Aston Villa have a goal back. Norwich was sitting deep. Murphy up to the edge of the penalty area. Can he set up James Madison for a chance? Yeah! We won! Josh Murphy has been involved in all three Norwich goals. And he's put that one right into the path of James Madison, who takes the chance. And Norwich City's two goal buffer is restored. Real determination from Murphy to get forward and to lay it into the path of James Madison, who does not miss those, and it is Norwich City 3, Aston Villa 1. Sidian, where's Hulahan's been robbed on halfway, a ball played through to Fletcher, who is then oh, no, taken yeah. down in the box by Norwich City's Grant Hanley, and we'll see a penalty here for Sunderland. Here we go, McGeady to take it against Angen Gun, Angus Gunn. He hit oh. the post! He's hit the post! Lyndon Gooch, who then comes left to McGeady, who's going to maybe step inside and try one. He goes near post, he's hit the bar this time, and it's going to be a tap in at the far post for Sunderland, who go in front. And plenty of big men forward. Ball into the box. Can Norwich get ahead on it? Not the second one, the first one. Chance here for Norwich, yes. and it's in! And it's Ivo Pinto, the Norwich City captain, who has levelled things for Norwich City in the dying seconds. The Madison got the ball into a dangerous area, pinballed around, and then fell to the Norwich City captain, Ivo Pinto, who couldn't miss to make it Sunderland 1, Norwich City 1. Goodison takes it, launches another long throw into that Norwich penalty area. It's headed on, should be away by oh, Pinto and Tetti. Both went for that, they have cleared it. Morrison puts it back into the danger, a chance for Cardiff, brilliant save from Gunn. It's uh, Mendes Lang who got the shot in, then he shoots at the second attempt and scores! And Cardiff City have stolen this game, perhaps right at the end. Norwich nil, Cardiff one. Long free kick from Cardiff, cut out by Norwich City. Tetty on the edge of the penalty area, heads it down. It comes for Hoylett, great volley from Hoylett! What a goal that is for Cardiff City! And that wraps the game up. They've scored twice in the final four minutes here. At Cardiff City march on. It'll be taken short, it is taken short to Gallagher, who strikes it, hits the bar! Centre-halves up for Norwich City, good ball in from him. Oh, the ball fell straight to Vrancic, and oh, a turning shot by Tim Closer. See the message now at the south stand. It doesn't say thank you, Wes. It doesn't say thanks, Wes. It's just a big yellow and green Wes. And frankly, do you really need anything else to be said at this moment in time? Because today is all about Wes Hulahan. And as you can hear, Carol Rowe is on his feet. And so the time came to say goodbye to a true Canaries legend. 352 appearances, 54 goals, three promotions, one player of the season award, and too many magic moments to mention. All Wes Houlihan's stellar 10 years of Norwich City service needed was a fitting finale to live long in the memory. With this free kick, Pablo Hernandez plays it into the penalty area, decent ball, Gunn punches it away. Uh, Ronaldo Vieira tries to get the shot in from distance, then Phillips does oh, and scores and Leeds take the lead! It's Vieira, Brancic goes looking for the ball, that's a great tackle from Brancic and he's found Murphy and now we've got Wes Hulan running towards the Leeds defence up to the edge of the area, it's a shot deflection! Oh he's hit the post and he's got in! And Wes Hulan signs off in style! A meaningless game at Carroll Road but a moment that means so much because Wes Hulan has got his goal, it was certainly fortunate he hit it from 20 yards, it took a deflection, it hit the inside of one post, it rolled along the line, it hit the inside of the other post, Carroll Road willed it to roll into the net, it has done, that is the moment that Norwich fans wanted to see, Hulan scores and it's 
Leitner gives it back to Houlihan, who now does burst into life. On the right-hand side, Wes Houlihan sets up Murphy in the penalty area, and he's there! And Wes Houlihan had signed off with a goal, and now he's got an assist as well. Put that one into the path of Murphy, who rattled it through the goalkeeper. Pick up Farrell probably could have done much better, but Norris City are in front. Josh Murphy with a powerful finish. Norris City are 2-1 up now at Carrow Road in their final home match of the season. A day and a goodbye that everyone inside Carroll Road will remember. The banners, the chanting, the tears. There was no hiding what Wes Houlihan meant to his teammates and especially the Norwich City supporters, as well as what the supporters meant to him. So after a decade of sending those inside the stadium to their feet, Carroll Road said goodbye one last time to a player who will live for so much longer in city folklore. Meanwhile, the rest of Daniel Farker's Norwich City squad could also take the time to show their appreciation to the Canary supporters. So with Wes Houlihan's City career over and just one game left to play, Norwich's 2-1 win over Leeds helped lift Daniel Farker's side above their visitors as well as East Anglian rivals Ipswich Town. All City needed to do was sign off with something positive from their final day trek to Hillsborough to face a big spending Sheffield Wednesday side that had started the season dreaming of a third successive tilt at the Premier League and ended it well off the pace in the bottom half of the division. Now Reach on the left, plays the ball in towards the far post, knew who's there and he heads the ball into the net. That is a very, very well worked goal from Sheffield Wednesday, quick attack and it's been headed into the net by big anti knew who and it is Sheffield Wednesday 1, Norwich City 0. Headed on by Lucas Xiao, tribal and closer sort of deal with it but they're going to need some extra help from Zimmerman, that's a dreadful back pass from Zimmerman and that's 2-0. That is an awful goal to give away for Norwich City. Zimmerman got that completely wrong. Short corner, Sheffield Wednesday have worked it to reach. His cross into the penalty area, and it's scored this time. 3-0. Financio's got a goal, and it's Sheffield Wednesday 3, Norwich City 0. Turning on the party pieces, coming forward. Pelpusi's cross from the right. Gunn has collided with his own defender, and it's an easy tap-in for Ante Newhu. What has gone on there? That was a dreadful goal for Norwich to give away. Gunn is absolutely poleaxed in the penalty area. It's two goals in a minute for Sheffield Wednesday. Leitner walks the ball into the penalty area from the left-hand side, then unleashes a shot, and it's turned into the net, and Tim Close has scored for Norwich City. He raises his... Uh, an almost apologetic arm of celebration in the direction of the Norwich City fans. Sheffield Wednesday 4, Norwich City 1. Norris Dieri now for Sheffield Wednesday at the other end. Runs through the middle, gets it back from Newhu, goes down, is it a penalty? Doesn't matter, does it? It is yeah. a penalty. From Antti Newhu, who's on a hat-trick. It could be Angus Gunn's last game for Norwich City. Can he save the penalty? No. Tucked into the corner of the net by Antti Newhu. He's finished with a hat-trick. And for the second season running, Norwich City find themselves 5-1 down at Hillsborough against Sheffield Wednesday. A well-taken penalty, and Wednesday now are out of sight. So City had to swallow a harsh ending to their 2017-18 championship campaign, finishing 14th behind Ipswich and Leeds on just goal difference, but with some hope of solid foundations to build on come next season. Wolves were crowned champions with Cardiff promoted behind them and Fulham successful at Wembley, while at the other end Sunderland suffered a second successive relegation with Burton and Barnsley joining them in League One. Swansea, Stoke and West Brom, Wigan, Blackburn and Rotherham were all added to the second tier pot for the 2018-19 EFL Championship season.
Thank you. 